Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Microsoft Tutorial. Today I'm planning to talk about how we can access an element, how we can access an object, how we can access an array, how we can access an attribute, how to access a keyword that is data view keyword in data view. In my previous video, I talked about translation where converting the data from JSON to XML, XML to JSON, CSV to JSON, many formats. Today I'm going to talk about the transformation one kind of a structure of data i'm going to convert into another kind of a structure of the data if you see i have this xml this i'm planning to convert it into json and that will be in different structure of the data like i have account reference over here but the expected output will be account id i need to take the value from here how i can take it value from here and assign to the output that is what I'm going to show. Not only this, so like this, the structure is going to be different. As part of this tutorial, first of all, we need to learn about the XML and JSON structure. If you see here, this is account details. That is the starting tag that is called as a root tag. It ends with the same tag over here. That is called as a root tag in XML. And the next element over here, the next thing over here, account reference. That is ending over here between that there is a value so that is called as an element after that you can see here account the tag is started here and ended over here in the between you have a collection of element so that is called as an object and if you see over here address the tag is multiple times it is repeating you can see address and ending over here again address is starting over here ending over here like this multiple tags are there with the same name that is called an an array and if you see here the account details has within that tag itself we have something called id over here there is some value other for this so within the tag if we have any key and value pair that is called as a attribute okay so you need to keep in mind that object array element attribute which we need to understand here then if i go to the json this json will not have any root tag it start with a curly braces or square braces if it is a key value pair that is called as the element over here and if you see these curly braces have starting over here ending over here between that we have a multiple element that is called as an object even this is called as an object even this is called as an object starting to ending over here now if you see the address it has the square braces starting and that means this is an array in a json so i hope you understood the xml json the structures now i'm going to take this as my input and i'm going to convert into some json format so let's start i'm going to take this data view sample and i'm going to create a new configuration file right click new mule configuration file let me give it name as dw underscore translation you can give any name but just giving this name i'm going to talk about some of the translation uh, logics over here to accept this xml as my input naturally be listener I'm going to keep it this extra prisoner and i'm going to give the path as as translation and then i want to convert the data i'm going to use it transform message now the data which i need is json format so i'm going to change it this as application slash json as my output now let me start with this first of all how to access an object i'm going to talk about it if you see this is the root tag so as soon as if you receive all this data that data is going to come within the payload which is a part of event okay so if you want to access the complete data we say that payload access the complete data now this is an object which i'm going to create now i want to access this account object and assign to the account as my over here whatever the left side is there that is the key which you are going to produce using the data view and whatever the right side it is going to have that is the value we are going to assign i want to take it from this data so this data is coming in a payload right now payload but we can use a dot the levels whatever we access the data okay this is the root tag right i can copy this one put it over here now within the tag i have an account can access this using dot count this is how i can access that access object. so this is called as comment over here in a data view code if you put double slash over here write something that is a comment a comment giving us some comment this is the comment so next i want to access an element i want to access this element assigned to of the element over here that is i'm going to say count id how can i access payload dot 
can say account details is a root tag within that root tag i have an account to reference and put dot so using this dot can access an element access an element now the next thing is i want to access an array you see my data under account details i have a customer within the customer i have a multiple addresses over here that is an array right so i want to access that address what you can do payload dot account details dot customer dot address now i can access it so address i'm going to give as the output i can copy paste it here to here customer dot address now we can access an array access an array this is the comment which i want to give but what is the difference between this this and all so this is an array right to access an array we can use a star over here otherwise your program will not understand it will take it only the first object out of these three objects whatever we have in this input i have a three objects over here right but it is going to take only one if i don't give the star over here if i give a star all these tags it is going to calculate and it is going to assign that value to here this is how we can access a array data we want to access attribute you see here this is an attribute i want to access this load dot i will say that id load dot on details dot give dot id give that way my program understands this imagine the tag is over here it's not a tag it is an attribute it's a part of the tag access an attribute use the rate this this cute that is how we can use so that means dot will be used for accessing each level will be used for accessing an array or the rate can be used for accessing an attribute so i want to access a cell characters okay you see i have something over here type account type i want to assign that to account type over here you can access load dot on details dot each level we want to access means we use a dot over here so account details has account so dot account dot in that we have a type over here copy that put it over here now normally we access but why it is giving an error over here see the error it is giving see, that is how we should access the each level that right. is an a defined keyword in a data view maximizing this you see that code is something colorful this something creates the data view code you see these letters are bold this is a blue color this is gray you see this is a black color if you see this is the bold again it indicates that whatever the bold color it is there those are the keywords in a data view and whatever the blue color it is there that is what you are going to produce the data for the light orange is there that is object or element a part of new event payload is part of the event attributes is a part of event those things will show as light uh, orange this color it is an object or element now it is thinking that it is an object element it is not that it is a data view keyword that's why it is showing as a bold over here access this special words and use apostrophe over here like this we can access in a keyword special word special word or special or word use apostrophe that we can use that element how it works let me test it and show that let me deploy this application and make it ready for purpose I'm going to copy this as my input. Postman, this URL is exactly the same. The body, I'm going to pass this data as my input. We can test it and see how exactly it was. You can see how exactly it is working. What we are learning over here, how we can access an object, how we can access an object, access an element, how we can access array, and access attribute and that is what we are learning over here deployed now i will go and request see that the first thing is in object you can see this is the object we are accessing and assigning to the account the data is converted into json next thing is accessing an element which 
I'm producing account ID as my key. If I go over here, account ID, and this is how it is. Next thing is accessing an array. You can see, and we have an address which is having three input objects. So the three input objects are part of this array. The next thing is accessing an attribute, this value over here. And the special character or special word that is the type, that is what it is accessing and putting out. It is produce the data for the elements we accessed or maybe objects we accessed and assigned to the thing the data over. Is clear right this is very basic if we understand this the data view code is more clear. in this concept now we are going to write some more logics in the next video where i'm going to explain about concatenation and subtractions and some of the mathematical functions those i will be discussing in my next video so please keep watching this space for today i hope this is clear for everybody for watching this video please like share subscribe network